Hi everyone, Alex here. Today we're going to continue with our sprinkler hydraulics using Revit series. For that we're using the Viking Hydraulic Assistant, which is a software developed by Viking that allows integration with Revit. So you can define hydraulic nodes uh, within your model and then extract the data directly from your model and perform hydraulic calculations in compliance with NFPA 13 and factory mutual requirements. In part one, I give you a quick introduction of the Viking Hydraulics uh, tool. I show you how to download and install the software. We explore the component manager and we did a couple of examples uh, importing data for backflow parameters. In part two, we digged a little bit deeper into the component manager. I show you how to define pumps, both NFPA and manufacturer, and a few other components. And then we dive into the hydraulic assistant itself where I show you how to include the water supply and define the sprinkler most remote area. And now in part three, we're going to keep using the hydraulic assistant. And this time I want to show you how to trace the piping, which essentially means how to define the Revit families and path them to components in the component manager. We're going to resolve an issue using the component manager. We're going to explore the user interface and we're going to be interpreting our hydraulic graph. We're going to be playing a little bit with it. And I'm going to show you how to tag the nodes in your system. A quick reminder that we're using NFPA 13 requirements for this series. And uh, let's get going. And now we have to trace the pipe from the source all the way to our sprinklers. I like doing that from the isometric, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter where you do it from. And then you come here to trace pipe. And now it's going to ask you to define each family or component via the component manager, including the pipe. So. The pipe, it already identified that it's schedule 40. That's good. And as you use the program more, it gets familiarized with all your families. For now, you can see that it identified this three, but like this double check detector, for example, it doesn't know it, right? It's unknown. So what we have to do is we have to go to the component manager and then path it there. I know that my backflow preventer is the Ames 3000 SS. You just right click and then insert into pipe table. And there you go, here it is. And then next time, if you use the same family, it's gonna be able to identify it. And we need to include our pump, Aurora, this one, insert into pipe table. So here from the drop down list, if you find something that is very similar to what you want, you can select like swing check, for example. It identify the T, the butterfly valve. See, like I have this zone control riser module from Victolic, and I added it here, see? We have another check valve that is a little bit different. Just reducing T, it's a T, and then this elbow, it's an elbow. And now you can click on build pipe table. It does its magic. And then your status panel on the left, if I go back to my hydraulic assistant, should give me some feedback here, see? So for example here, I know that this component, the Ames 3000 SS, has two points with the same X please edit the component. And let's go to our component manager so we can access it from here. Back for preventer, aims, 3000 SS, curve data. And I, I believe this is the six inch. Let's see, six inch. So here it is. See, we have 0, 100, 200, 600, 900, and 900 again. So we have two points here, so we can remove one of them. There you go. And now the calculation already finished successfully. And it seems like we don't have enough pressure. So let's check it out can come here to the open user interface. And then here you can see the input that you had initially, all the pipe sections, showing your nodes. Here, simple sections, just a summarized version of that. Then our supply information. And as you can see, our demand's a little bit higher than our supply. So just for the sake of discussion, let's assume we have a decent flow test. Let's say you have at least 50 PSI on static and you have a residual, let's say you have 40 and you can see how my graph and my calculations are updating automatically. So here you can see that I'm barely making it to my demand for sprinklers, but including the host streams, we're almost two PSI failing. So for us to be okay with this, we either have to increase the pump a little bit, modify the pipe sizes, but in this case, just to make the exercise simpler, let's assume that we have 60 for static. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that bell, you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos. 
And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. And then let's keep 44 residual. And in this case, we're making it with 5.57 PSI of safety margin. So it's looking good. You can also check your design areas here. You see my 12 sprinklers and it has some notes, but we haven't tagged any notes. So let's go ahead and tag some notes. But before that, notice that now our two columns for real flow and for pressure have been populated already. You can also add fixed flows and PRVs, which we'll be doing in our next video. And then here you have all your notes with all the elevations and whether it's a sprinkler or not. So let's go ahead and tag a little bit. So here in our isometric, you can tag all those nodes. You can say tag flowing nodes in current view and boom, all your nodes will be tagged automatically. And you know, you can adjust them a little bit. Let's say you want this to the side so that it doesn't cover your fittings. You can do that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and check it all. So we have the source and two, three, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 13, 16, 19, 22, 26, 31, 35, 39, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 60, 66, 74, 83, 93, 103, 114, 125, 136. Notice that in the reduction, you get another node, 163, 175, 185, 192, 198, 206. And then we get to our branches. So 217 is the bottom. 228 rising nipple, then 239, 51 here sprinkler, 62 sprinkler, 272 sprinkler, 278 sprinkler. The same thing for this branch, and the same thing for this branch. And notice that here you have from here to here a reduction, so we should be ready to go. We have our isometric tagged just like that, and then we can do the same thing for level three. So you just come here to tag note, tag flowing notes in current view. Boom, that's it. Let me adjust this slightly here as well. And then you can do the same thing for level one. And that's it. Now let's create our submittal. 